Hi everyone, today's lesson is lesson five, identifying add-ins, sums, and the commutative property of addition, addition facts, adding zero, adding one, and doubles, and then identifying a missing add-in. So here I have all of these adding zero facts. When we are adding zero to a number, what happens? So zero plus zero is zero, and zero plus one is one. Zero plus two is two. What have you noticed? When we add zero to a number, the answer will always be the number, okay? Doesn't matter what that number is, it is always going to be the same number when we add zero. So zero plus three is three, 0 plus 4 is 4, 0 plus 5 is 5, 0 plus 6 is 6, 0 plus 7 is 7, 0 plus 8 is 8, and 0 plus 9 is 9. Okay, so when we add 0 to a number, the answer will always be the number. Okay, so when we're adding numbers, the numbers we add are called add-ins. So the two numbers we're adding are called add-ins. And the answer that we get is called the sum. In this problem, I have two and zero are the add-ins, and the sum is two. Okay. What do you notice about these two problems? You notice that the order of the add-ins is different, but my sum is the same. So zero plus two is two, and two plus zero is two. This is called, by mathematicians, the commutative property of addition. Commutative property of addition. Okay, so over here, we have our adding zero facts. Can you see some other examples of this? So we have these, because both of those equal one. These show the commutative property because they both equal two. These ones do, okay. All of these numbers are showing the commutative property, which is that I can add numbers in any order and get the same answer. Okay, so you can see eight plus zero is eight, zero plus eight is eight. Nine plus zero is nine, and zero plus nine is nine. Now we're going to work on the adding one facts. Okay, so when we add one to a number, the answer is the next number we say when we count. For example, if I have two plus one, my answer is three. And if we count, we go one, two, three, four, five. And so when we add one, we go to our next number that we count. 3 plus 1 would be 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, and 9 plus 1 is 10. So does the commutative property still work for adding 1s? Yes, it does, because if we look here, down here we have 1 plus 2, and that equals 3. Okay. We have 3 plus 1 is 4, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So remember, I can add numbers in any order and get the same answer. 1 plus 4 is 5, 1 plus 5 is 6, 1 plus 6 is 7, 1 plus 7 is 8, 1 plus 8 is 9, and 1 plus 9 is 10. All right, what about our doubles? These problems here are double numbers. Double means two. And we're, so we're adding two of the same number, okay? What is five plus five? Well, five plus five is 10, okay? What about zero plus zero? Of course, zero plus zero is gonna be zero. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 4 is 8, 6 plus 6 is 12, 7 plus 7 is 14, 8 plus 8 is 16, and 9 plus 9 is 18. 
and these are my double facts. Okay, well, what happens if we have a missing addend? If you look, I have a missing number. I know this is saying that something plus one equals five. Okay, so who wants, if you wanted to guess, what would you think it was? So if we think about it, it should be four plus one is five. Because we know when we add one, the answer we get is the next counting number. Okay, all right, so four plus one equals five. What about this one? Zero plus something equals three. Well, I've learned today that if I add zero to any number, it's always the same number. So I know that the, my missing add-in has to be three because zero plus three equals three. All right, we can also write these problems this way. So we have five plus something equals six. Well, since five and six are next to each other, on my counting line, I know that I have to add one. Okay, what about the next one? We have something plus seven equals 14. I learned today with my doubles facts that seven plus seven equals 14. So seven is going to be my missing number. Okay. And that's it for this lesson. In school, you'll probably, you'll be practicing these with some teacher fact, with some fact cards. So practice the, these adding zero, adding one, and adding doubles facts. Good luck on your homework.